What's going on, everybody? My name is David Delano. I'm one of the writers and handicappers with Winners and Winers.com. Today's video is brought to you guys by No House Advantage Fantasy Sports Redefined. Go ahead and check out the link in the description. Promo code WNW. Get yourself a first time deposit bonus of up to $50 with No House Advantage. Also, have a five pack going, a 60% off promo with premium picks. Link in the description for that. With Winners and Winers, all of our picks are documented. You can um, check out the leaderboard, check out our past results. Right now, last 30 days, we've been on a great run. Um, players were just playing just $100 a game, just straight betting $100 per game, up over $1,700 over the last 30 days. I'm going to have a free college basketball pick for you guys in just a moment. Yesterday, we went 2-1, and one, hit the free pick in the NBA on the Oklahoma City Thunder, who took care of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, we did drop a play on the premium side as we had over the total in the Buffalo-Kent State game. But we did hit our best bet, which was over in the game between um, Air Force and New Mexico. Now, going into today, my uh, free pick for today is going to be in the game between Tarleton State and Grand Canyon. I also have a five-pack on the website. Now, with so many games going on today, right, why would I pick a game like this? It's probably a game you... Not paying much attention to, but the thing I like about this, on a day with so many games, I don't think the books are paying enough attention to this game as well. Um, Grand Canyon, a team that the books have not caught up with, they played 12 straight overs, and we have a low total here of 133.5 points. I like over in this game between Tarleton and Grand Canyon. few things I'm aware of. Why do we have such a low total here? Why do I like the over? Well, first of all, Tarleton, in uh, two of their last uh, three games, they've been held below 50 points. So that's a reason for concern. Also, no team in the nation has made fewer threes than Tarleton. All things that I'm aware of. But um, this game is going to be at home. At home this season, Tarleton has played nine home games. They have not failed to score at least 68 points in every single home game. And also, one thing I don't uh, mind about this team, it's not that they're terrible at shooting threes. They just know their identity. They play relatively fast, and they attack the basket. Sometimes you get teams, games like, uh, let's say a team like Illinois, a team that doesn't shoot the three great, but they fall in love with the three ball. A lot of times, whether or not the game goes over or under and how they perform is just going to depend on whether or not they get streaky and hit some shots. Tarleton, they, they're fifth in the nation in um, free throws attempted per game. So they get to the line. They only have one player on the team who attempts more than three threes a game. It's Lou, his name's Lou Williams, and he's hitting 41% of them. So they're not terrible when they shoot them. Their uh, top scorer has also um, just working his way back after about a month off. I think that that is going to help as well. Also, you have a Grand Canyon team that get, does a good job of getting to the line. They're 90th in a free throws attempted per game. This is out of 363 teams. But uh, both teams are poor in free throws allowed. Uh, Tarleton, one of the best teams at getting to the line, but they're also one of the worst teams when it um, comes to allowing opponents to get to the line. So basically to summarize this, we've got a Grand Canyon team who's played 12 straight overs. We've got uh, two teams that are excellent at getting to the free throw line, two teams that are poor in free throws allowed. Grand Canyon, good free throw shooting team, good three-point shooting team. Tarleton attacks the basket. They're going to speed this game up. Grand Canyon has scored, um, I believe, at least 72 points in eight straight games. They've combined with their opponents for at least 148 points in their last four. Tarleton scores much better at home. We've got a low, low total here of 133.5. We've been cashing on some high totals, but the thing I like in a game like this, even though these teams may not jump out at the page at you, there, there's definitely room for error in a game with 133 and a half points, you know, we could get a slow start, you know, slow ending and still hit this in a few different ways. I think that there's going to be a lot of free throws, a lot of plays, a lot of points scored with the clock stopped and over 133 and a half is going to be the way that I'm going in this game between Tarleton and Grand Canyon. A lot of games for today. I would love to know what you guys like in a big, big uh, slate of games today. It's on the card, got a couple obsolete games, have a couple high-profile games. So um, good luck once again on whatever you're playing. Thanks for spending so much time with me, and um, let's have a great Saturday.